everybody, welcome to the 2013 Mitsubishi medal awarding the best and fairest play in the inaugural Victory League. So good to see so many people here and so many good performances this year on and off the field. And if you're anything like me, uh, picking a winner has been uh, extremely tough. I'd like to invite to the stage the CEO of Football Federation Tasmania, Mr John Bullis, to say a few words. Welcome and thank you for everyone uh, turning out tonight. Uh, what will be a tremendous night, a tremendous weekend and uh, a tremendous month of football ahead. We've had a tremendous start to the season. Uh, lots of excitement. We stood in this room only uh, about six months ago and launched the season. and. I, th I guess it couldn't be our wildest dreams that we thought it would be this successful. The media have jumped on board and, and we've created what is a, a tremendous season. I'd like to start by acknowledging um, some apologies. Uh, Sean Collins, our president, is overseas at present. Premier Lara Giddings, represented by uh, Scott Bacon. Uh, Will Hodgman, leader of the opposition, sent his apologies. And Michelle O'Byrne, the Minister for Sport. Um, I'd like to thank the many supporters in the room and acknowledge, take this opportunity to acknowledge a few at the moment. Um, we, we have Mr Mark Shelton, Shadow Minister for Sport, Ron Christie, Deputy Mayor, Hobart City Council, Steve Martin, Mayor of Devonport, uh, Marty Zuko, Harvard, Hobart City Council, Mr Brian Whiteman, Attorney General, representing the uh, Minister for Sport, Emma Highwood, Head of Community Football from Football Federation Australia, representing Football Federation Australia here, so thank you Emma. Um, Craig Martin, who's just given some apologies, not quite well, but for an Executive Director of Sport and Recreation. Uh, and we had our Football Federation Tasmania Directors, uh, Peter Best, Jack Johnston, Emma Bridge and Glenn Campbell. And all our club presidents, officials, volunteers and players. Um, thank you for coming along tonight. It's a, in what will be a, a spectacular evening. I guess it's a, a sense of pride that we stand in this room. Um, we, we conducted meetings in 2011 regarding uh, where we go with the statewide league. The board were, were very adamant to implement a statewide league for many reasons. Um, and I guess one of them is to increase the exposure of sport. Two is to create uh, quality pathways for all footballers in this state. And three is, is to give us something to be proud of um, and create a pathway so that every player can aspire to move to the next level. Uh, the highest level they can within Tasmania and the next level out of Tasmania. And, and, and that's been a, um, a tremendous success. In summary, um, a huge thank you to all our volunteers, our club presidents who are just unbelievable in what they do. They turn around information, help us, and, and I think the players in the room, I'd like to give all the club presidents and the committees that are in the room a huge uh, a round of applause because without them, uh, they've lifted the bar. So thank you. Leader of the Victory League Golden Boot. And the winner of the Victory League Golden Boot is, of course, Braden Mayer. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the Devonport Strikers boys for accepting me into the club. And I think it was a really good transition for all of us Olsen boys and Somerset boys that, that moved over to Devonport. And it was pretty hard to, at first to put that rivalry aside coming from Olsen. And next year we can really have a crack at it and hopefully I'll score a few more goals next season. And, We'll get over the line. Um, thanks, everyone. And the winner of the 2013 Forestry Tasmania Goal of the Year is Aaron Cairns. Yeah. Now, it's not all about the goals. It's not all about the strikers and the midfielders and the, and the flashy pieces of the play. The guys down the other end need some recognition too. And our next award recognises the Save of the Year. It's the Spec Save of the Year. And the winner of the 2013 Spec Save of the Year is Sam Cornish Young. <laughs> and the 2013 Victory League Coach of the Year is Ken Moore. <laughs> and the referee of the year is Kim Barker. Yeah, Kim Barker couldn't be with us tonight, so uh, Ian Cole Hoon uh, will be accepting that award on his behalf. <laughs> I'd like to call to the stage now the director of the Melbourne Victory Football Club, Richard Wilson, to say a few words and to present South Hobart captain Hugh Lutford with their shield. Uh, welcome, everybody, and. Um, it's uh, it's terrific to be invited here tonight on uh, 
on behalf of my chairman Anthony Zepietra and the board of Melbourne Victory. Uh, it's been a terrific uh, relationship we've had with uh, football in Tasmania and to, uh, to Sean Collins, uh, the president of the FFT and uh, his board, and uh, to the CEO um, John Bullis and, uh, and in particular with Jack Johnson we, um, and, and John to put this together a year ago I suppose and uh, have those discussions and, and see what's happened and how it's evolved this year has been a fantastic effort on behalf of everybody involved here in Tasmania and to the players and the coaches to increase the standard and evolve football in Tasmania. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all of you. I don't think whether you finished first or last, it actually doesn't matter this year. I think it's what you've done collectively for the game. So finally to the South Hobart Football Club, congratulations. You've won it uh, with about two or three games to go, I, I guess, and uh, you've been a very strong club and deserved winners. So congratulations to to you and to uh, to Devonport, and to, to good luck to both of your your clubs tomorrow in the in the final of the Victory Cup. Uh, but on behalf of uh, the Melbourne Victory Football Club, well done, congratulations, and, uh, and a job well done. I'd like to invite to the stage from Mitsubishi, Tony Brugham to say a few words. Oh, good evening everyone, thank you. I'm Tony Brigham. I'm Mitsubishi, are very happy to be associated with the Tasmanian um, Football Federation. When John McKenna proposed to, uh, to the dealers and Mitsubishi in 2012 that we, we, um, we sponsored the Victory League. Um, times were pretty tight at that time, so we, we, just, we mulled it over, but we were very happy to get involved. And Johnny's uh, obviously involvement up at Launceston was a bit of an indicator to us that this might be a good thing to, 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 to do. For Ladies and gentlemen, that means your 2013 Mitsubishi medalist with 31 votes from the Glenorchy Knights, Jaden May. Anything uh, prepared? Uh, you played some uh, some great football this season. It mustn't come as too much as a, as a surprise, given the, the quality of game you did play. Um, yeah, it didn't come with anything. Uh, just if anything did happen, just try and wing it like I uh, did most of the other interviews. But uh, yeah, I thought I had an alright uh, season. Um, yeah, I would say so. so. <laughs> How does it feel, I guess, to win this, this uh, medal? It's the very first uh, one awarded uh, and it'll be uh, steep in history, I suppose. It must be a great honour. Oh, certainly. Um, still a bit uh, lost, <laughs> lost for words, to be honest, but uh, yeah, uh, very proud of moment. So many uh, quality uh, uh, players you're up against every week, guys like uh, Aaron Cairns and whatnot, who were so close. Um, it must be so good uh, to, to be rated above those guys for this year. Uh, yeah, certainly uh, the likes of uh, Kansi and Mann and all those guys certainly had a very good seasons as well. Um, don't take anything away from them, but yeah, um, just sure don't know what to say, to be honest. Um, I'm really, uh, really not sure what the, uh, what the future holds for me, but whatever it holds, I uh, look forward to it and hopefully uh, push onwards and upwards. Best of, best of luck in whatever you do. Another round of applause for Jaden. Well, everybody, that wraps up the uh, 2013 Mitsubishi medal. Uh, big congratulations to Jaden Hay. Fantastic season. Uh, just and obviously to Jonathan Laddie, Karen Cairns, and Brad Mann, who weren't far off either. Some great individual performances there. And uh, good luck, good night. Thank you. Congratulations, mate. How do you feel? Um, over the moon, to be honest. Uh, it's been a long year and it's uh, really a great way to uh, finish it off, really. Really, really I have no idea. Uh, I want to go over to Melbourne, to Green Gully, and uh, try out for them at least for the start of December onwards and see how I find that and go from there. But I really have no plans at the moment. 
I'll be back here. Um, but I don't enjoy Melbourne. Melbourne's a big city, and when I went over there first, the uh, Green Gully's a long way out from everything. So didn't really like that, but hopefully go back for a longer period and I'll enjoy it.